good afternoon my dear kids welcome back once again to the world of science okay this is mithun raj your science teacher signing in from this part of the world cochin kerala and i hope um, the introduction for this chapter was a bit easier one isn't it okay i tried my level best to make it as simple as possible and i hope that uh most of you who already responded for the quiz and the notes and all uh, it seems like this chapter is a bit easy isn't it because most of you are not getting confused and giving correct answers so i think that we will just increase the pace regarding this particular chapter it's not a big chapter it's a very small chapter you only want to study three things human nervous system control and coordination in humans control and coordination in plants in humans two types of control and coordination one is endocrine or hormonal control and co- coordination and one is the electrical type or the uh, nervous system okay in plants it is very easy the main part is this human nervous system okay brain spinal cord and nerves okay that is the main thing uh, if we cover that 60 percentage of the chapter is finished i think within four or five or six classes maximum we will finish it so what we were we discussing in the last classes we were discussing about ha huh, human nervous system only an introduction you studied about some parts of neuron and you studied synapse actually synapse uh, in this uh, slide which i have made in this slide it is a bit early to introduce you synapse but if you know how these signals is being transmitted between each neuron it will be easy for you to study okay the entire nervous system is not transmitting all the signals from the brain through this ah oh yeah sorry it is transmitted through the synapse but it is not transmitting by electrical signal okay in some places between each nerves there is a small gap okay in that gap uh this chemical transmission of signals is been occurred okay but the gap is very small it has been millions and millions of time zoom in okay that means microscopy this is a very 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 this gap is actually very small understand it this is thousands not thousands millions and millions of times magnified picture of a junction of a neuron understand two neurons are connecting with each other here actually not the neurons this one is connecting this end of dendrite is connecting with this uh, nerve ending okay that part is known as this synapse here okay if you know what happens in synapse you should discuss last class chemical signals is been carried out let's see what are the functions of the part of the neuron first one is dendrite it carries impulses towards cyton or cytoplasm or cell body okay see axon what is its duty ah it carries impulses from cyton to effector organs like muscles and glands one more part is the receptors okay leave it the main see these are the main part of a neuron understand the main part some other things are there nucleus is there and nerve endings are there but the main three parts are this one this is the cell body or cyton or cytoplasm then writes these branch like structure okay like a tree's branches it is called as the dendrites okay branches of a tree consider the neuron as a tree the stem is axon branches are dendrites and root is nerve endings understand so what is the role of this dendrites it will ha huh, the signal from other neuron will come and stop here and this dendrite will carry the impulses or the signals to the cell body or the cytoplasm okay this is the main part of the neuron where we have the nucleus and all and from there another wire is there see stay same like a pipe this pipe transmit these signals from the cell body to the ha ah, nerve endings from here it is been transmitted to another neuron or transmitted to another muscle cells or any other cells understand this part is connected to different different muscle cells same like capillaries it is connected to different different parts of our body understand or it is connected to the ha huh, end of another and the starting of another dendrite okay you understand the function 
axons function to carry signals from cell body to the nerve ending from here it is given to other uh, muscle cells blood cells or any skin cells olfactory cells all the cells in our human body okay dendrites it carries signals from another neuron to the cell body so these are the functions of the parts of uh, the body so see another thing i think this receptors is really it's not mentioned in textbook in elaborately actually receptors are sensory structures present all over the body receptors are either grouped in case of eye or ear or scattered in case of skin so what is receptors i have one picture in this slide it is not given in detail so i made a picture regarding that let me take that for you one second i will take it one second one second my dear kids one second i have it here where is it okay i hope uh, you can see this picture is it clear so this is a receptor actually this is not in our textbook only two or three are there in textbook but i think that you know you must know we have a lots of sense organs in our body isn't it through which we are yeah getting all the senses of this world for example eye for seeing skin for feeling smell nose to uh, identify the smells and our tongue is there to identify the taste and ear is there to identify sound so these are the five uh, sense organs which we have in our body okay so each sense organs has different different types of nerves they are known as receptors understand they are known as receptors why i am telling this uh, i already told that there is three types of nerves are there understand sensory motor and uh, that we will discuss uh, later but let's see receptors and their sense organs this is important okay receptors are the sense organs which receive stimuli from the external environment and send it to the brain through nerves so what all things are happening outside our world not world sorry outside our human body that signals is been taken by these receptors understand each part of our body for example touch mostly we are feeling the touch through our skin isn't it sir no okay so another sense is smell another sense is vision or sight the view we are seeing from our eyes next is taste and next is sound so these are the five senses which all human beings has okay all human beings has these five senses and each part of these senses for example the biggest sensory organ is our skin you already know that so the entire skin is been covered or with that it has a lots of thigma receptors okay thigma receptors just uh, in textbook it is not there but you want to take the screenshot of this photo otherwise i will send this photo in the whatsapp group okay you must uh, write it in your notebook somewhere else you must just write it because it is very important important you must know what all types of senses we have understand so see only the name you want to study thigma receptors means they carries the sensation of touch olfactory receptor you already studied olfactory means smell in acid bases and salt you studied this olfactory receptor which takes smells which carries uh, signals of smell photoreceptors already you know photoreceptors will be in eyes uh, gustatory gustatory receptors or tango receptors they have in our mouth especially in tongue and they carries taste next one is audio receptor or phono receptors they are for sound these are the five different types of nerves okay different types of nerves which we have to take the signals from the body to the brain understand after that the brain is giving all this what ha huh. signals or orders commands what to do for example touching if you want to pick a pen or if you want to touch uh, an ice first your finger will touch it and this thigma receptors which is in the end of your fingers they will carry that sense of touch into uh, they will convert it into electrical pulses and they will send it to the brain 
understand uh, when the signal is in the brain the brain will send another signal okay that is coming through the uh, motor neuron motor neuron and all we will study and that signal when it comes to the end of our hand that that time we will feel the sensation of that coldness of that ice understand that we will discuss when we are telling studying uh, this uh, reflex action in the case of olfactory receptor the tiny tiny particles of that uh, smell when it enters our nose olfactory receptors accept that smell and send that signal to the brain when it reaches the brain then we have the sensation of smell same like that photoreceptors will take signals from the eyes to the brain at that time we are seeing things so actually we are not seeing through our eyes or we are not smelling through our nose okay where all this thing is happening really it is happening in our brain when the brain receives this signal then only we are able to understand that ah uh, we are hearing the sound we are tasting something we are seeing something we are feeling something all these things where it is happening it is happening in our brain understand so it's an extra thing not in test book but two are uh, two are there in test book which one i don't know i think like olfactory and some but better to study all it's a, it's a good thing it's a good knowledge in your future so receptors uh, one more question definition is receptor are sensory structures present all over the body okay sense the outside part of our body is mainly for sensing things understand we have five senses so we have five types of receptors okay a lots of receptors are there but the here we only want to Uh, study about five receptors okay next how do we detect that we are touching a hot object hmm. if you are touching hot object which receptor will work ah receptors in our skin okay if you write receptors in our skin then also you will get mark but the name is thymo receptors like that okay okay leave it hmm. see the receptors of skin sets of chemical reaction that creates an electric impulse this impulse travel from neurons to other cells and reaches the brain or the spinal cord or the spinal cord that's the next thing that we will study in reflex action see when we are touching something hot already skin has a lots of receptors okay the receptors in the skin will send that signal to the brain see this blue one is sending signal to the brain when the signal reaches the brain at that time we are feeling that heat understand and the brain will send signal back oh my god it is too hot take your finger otherwise it will burn understand so that is happening and when only the brain sends the signals then only we will be able to move our hand understand if the brain is not sending back the signals we won't be able to move our hand so in that case another thing comes which is called as reflex action very very important okay very very important the diagram also is important not this diagram another diagram is there that i will tell so in some cases in some cases if you have seen if you have observed automatically something is happening in our body for example if somebody uh, uses a pin okay pin to pinch you or to poke you understand simply somebody ha uh, picks or uh, pokes you with a pin on your back what will happen suddenly you will ha uh, a quick action will come isn't it a quick action actually it is not uh, done by your ha uh, your mind it is not done by your mind it is automatically happen understand that automatic movement of our body for example in the case of uh, seeing a snake suddenly what will you do we will jump from that place that is automatically doing not by our brain understand because it is the defense of our body if you are touching hot iron or if you are touching something very very hot anyway you know it will burn your hand but suddenly without your control you will take off your hand okay so that quick movement is known as reflex action the definition is 
reflex action is a quick automatic response to a stimulus without the involvement of the brain without the involvement of the brain that is the important part because it is done by the spinal cord understand because it is done by spinal cord reflex actions are done by spinal cord i will see any examples are there no examples are not there in this chapter okay in this part okay we will just one example is simply this thing oh, accidentally you stepped upon a hot iron rod and you are not wearing any slippers ha huh. what will happen anyway when your leg is burning you will jump out isn't it but before you will have that sensation of burn in your brain spinal cord already send the already have given the message messages to the hand or the muscles to pull out your hand understand that is because of reflex action so in this case the messages one second i will check one more thing sensory neuron and motor neurons are there blue colored neurons here we are mentioning it as sensory neurons and the other one is motor neurons okay two types of neurons are there see here uh this picture is not that much clear but this picture is clear isn't it am i right or not okay interneurons are there sensory neurons are there motor neurons are there okay these are the three different types of nerves in our body one sensory neurons what they will do sensory neurons carry signal from different different sensory receptors of our body to the brain understand and motor neurons carry different messages from the brain to different different motor part of our body motor part of our body is what muscle and bone which we use to move understand reflex action is important reflex arc is also important in reflex action what is happening actually the messages during reflex action is not reaching the brain actually it is reaching the brain but before that spinal cord is taking the decision understand spinal cord is uh, acting like a what mm, if uh, brain is the principal of a school spinal cord is the class teacher understand if your body is your class imagine the body is class spinal cord as class teacher and brain is the principal of the school understand in some emergency cases for example uh, if somebody fainted in your class okay somebody become unconscious what will your teacher do will teacher will uh, send the message to principal and uh, the teacher will wait for the principal's message to come back uh, and after that she will take she he or she will take action or what she will do what he will do Uh, the teacher will directly take the action sprinkle some water in your face and uh, make you relax isn't it that's a quick action you need that understand but at the same time the class teacher will send the message to the principal also understand so quick action some quick action we need to do some quick action in our life but in the case of our brain and spinal cord what is reflex action in reflex action mostly reflex action occurs to save our body from danger understand to save our body from danger for example if our hand is burning okay if you touch the hot object for each second the amount of burn will increase isn't it so or no if you are putting our or showing our hand in front of a fire one second small burn two second big burn at uh, 10 second there won't be any finger there isn't it same thing so to take the quick action the spinal cord won't wait for the answer of ah uh, answer of what answer of the brain because brain is uh, a bit more far away from the hand isn't it first the messages come to spinal cord from spinal cord that messages reaches the brain so if the spinal cord is waiting till the brain's decision our hand will burn more understand our hand will burn more in that case spinal cord makes the decision the class teacher takes the decision okay 
sprinkle some water in the face of that student okay not write this as example for exams okay you won't get any mark for that but to understand this is a good example isn't it so that is called as reflex action okay and during reflex action the neuron which takes the signals from the sensory organ to the spinal cord one signal is given to the brain also and from the brain motor neurons are there which takes back the signals okay this is happening during reflex action understand this thing happens during reflex action understand what is reflex action the definition is only this one reflex action is a quick automatic response to a stimulus without the involvement of the brain stimulus means stimulation if you are burning your hand it is a stimulation isn't it that is called as reflex action and reflex action is done by spinal cord not by the brain that's the important part there is nothing to do with the brain for reflex action okay and after brain receives the signals then you are feeling the brain so sorry sorry feeling the burn understand when brain receives the signal at the time you are feeling the burn before that itself you have been ha huh, ha huh, pulled back your hand from that fire is it yes of course that is known as reflex action and it's very important my dear kids very important and this path is called as reflex arc this is very very important reflex arc see this path from skin here burn occurred receptor neurons comes takes it to the interconnection center this is the sensory neurons which track takes that signals from the receptor to the spinal cord from spinal cord integration center automatically it sends the message back to the motor neuron and the motor neuron uh, sends the signal to the effector or the muscles and suddenly the muscle will contract and our hand is pulled out understand this is the cross section of a spinal cord so this is the sequence of events when a hot object is touched from skin sensory neuron relay neuron motor neuron uh, muscle in the arms this is relay neuron this green thing you need relay neuron or interneuron is it connects between sensory neuron and motor neuron okay all these nodes i will give okay this is relay neuron which is in the spinal cord it connects sensory neuron to spinal cord from spinal cord it connects to the motor neuron receptors means which receive signals effectors means which are uh, receive signals from uh, the second signal from the brain okay after receptor getting burned effector is working to pull back that hand so this is the reflex arc reflex action is important reflex arc is important the diagram is important sensory neuron is important relay neuron is important motor neuron is important receptor is important effector is important everything is one mark question okay this part is very very important okay 100 percentage there will be one question from this part okay whatever cbsc icsc igcsc state board whatever board reflex action and reflex arc is very 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 important so that's it difference between walking and reflex action you already know that isn't it okay that this also we will discuss and we will finish this class difference between reflex action and walking is walking a reflex action who gives the message to walk that's the question hmm of course brain isn't it but same thing is happening okay walking also but it's not a quick action understand it is not a quick action because your brain will tell your mother called you uh, my dear kid Uh, dinner is ready come ah uh, is there is that a reflex action quickly you are running to the table no slowly you will ah uh, get up slowly you will walk isn't it that is that messages is been sent by brain i don't know maybe some of you students may have reflex action for the hunger call but i don't know normal people won't have okay if you are foodies means you have too much mm, what likeness for food things like that can happen isn't it anyway you are very good students i know that okay so it's not a reflex action it's direct order from the brain that is the difference between walking and reflex action. reflex action is a rapid automatic response to a stimulus anyway <laughs> going to eat food is also an automatic response isn't it by 
smelling that aha uh -huh, that smell which comes from the kitchen automatically you will uh, close your eyes in dream you will run into that dining table isn't it i can leave it it does not involve any uh, you write if you write that in exam you won't get mark okay if you want to get marks in exam you want to write this one a reflex action is a rapid automatic response to a stimulus stimulation it does not stimulus means feeling okay that feeling which we are getting from the skin it does not involve any thinking walking is a voluntary action it is under our conscious control if we want to think to walk but in the case of reflex action it no need any thinking if you are burning your hand you do you want any option huh if you are burning your hand you want any option that means take your hand off or keep your hand there anyway it's a common sense thing Mm, pull back your hand otherwise it is dangerous for your hand isn't it but in the case of walking it is conscious control ha huh. we want to walk not walk we can decide if your mother is calling come mother kid food is ready you can decide mother i am not hungry i am not coming understand or you can tell i am hungry i am coming is conscious control that are conscious control we can make the decision but in the case of reflex action it's quick rapid and automatic response that is the difference okay reflex action is automatic see what is happening here he is touching a cactus plant and suddenly that ah uh, spike of that uh cactus plant poked him in the hand quickly he will ah uh, quickly he will take off his hat is it that is also a reflex action but walking is conscious control okay that's it next mm, effector sensory neuron spinal cord motor neuron uh, these are the things we will study okay next class enough for this one am i right yes the time is already 20 and half an hour is finished if you continue it will be boring for you okay reflex action reflex arc and all is very important what is receptors important different types of sensory receptors mostly most important are five others are also there but the most important are five study that also so that's it my dear kids today um, i will try to conduct that examination okay that uh, i told i will conduct one test mm, i will try to conduct it so that's it that's all for now okay my dear kids bye bye mithun raj signing off from this part of the world hope it was an interesting class and a few hope that you already know reflex action i am not telling any joke it is very important one okay you must know about reflex action lots of uh, what do you say in competitive exams also this reflex action questions will come regarding your neet also it is important so be thorough with that part in test book this is a very small part i try to make it as simple as possible with that diagrams lots of examples are there okay in uh, case of doctors they use a hammer to hit your knees jerking of knees will happen that is also another example for reflex action i think that is in test two okay while in revision time i will explain that also jerking if we hit the tendon tendon of your ligament of our knee automatically our knee will move hmm? that is reflex action used by these uh, doctors to identify the injury and all of the legs okay that's it <laughs> bye bye stay home stay safe and uh, i hope this chapter is an easy one hmm? regarding the other chapters biology part is very easy very interesting i am telling not easy it's very interesting especially 10th standard biology very very interesting i love this biology my main is physics but i love biology also okay this is this last chapter of biology uh, for part 1 okay one more chapter is there our environment it is a neutral chapter we cannot say it is biology some part of biology some part of physics some part of chemistry is also there in that okay it's a common chapter this is the last chapter of uh, part 1 biology okay after reflex action we will go through the uh, human nervous system central uh, nervous system peripheral nervous system and that's the end of the first part the next two part will take only four classes okay my dear kids so go through this video and read the test book i think only 10 or 11 pages are there this chapter very small chapter okay within 
um, within this week i will try to complete this anyway this week it won't be finished it will take two or three extra classes okay so my hope you understand what is reflex action and reflex arc very important okay diagram also important so bye bye my dear kids stay home stay safe and jai hind